it is Jo from Minerva and today I'm here for something really exciting which is to share with you a new base cloth in the Minerva exclusive range. This fabric that I'm going to show you today and I've got lots and lots of prints to share with you is a crush velvet and it's a knit fabric so it's suitable for all your stretch patterns. As soon as this fabric uh, came out I got a piece for myself and um, I've made the Kilo jumpsuit so that's from the Kilo wrap dress by Named Clothing. It's a pattern I've had for a really long time but I had never made it and the reason was because I just hadn't found the fabric that I really really wanted to wear in this jumpsuit and as soon as the velvet arrived that was the one that I wanted. This is the Bokeh Boudoir uh, print really popular in all our cloths actually but right from when I first saw this print I knew that really it needed to be on velvet it just highlights all of the uh, lighter tones the dark tones and when I first saw it I thought it looked like a burnt out velvet and when it's printed on velvet it really really is a fantastic fabric if you want to see this jumpsuit in full length then you can head over to Minerva and use the hashtag Kilo jumpsuit and you will see it there. Kilo uh, is a wrap dress or jumpsuit and if you've not seen the shape of it before it's a sort of big bat wing jumpsuit or dress and you can choose to have a tie at the front so it looks quite sort of uh, slimline at the front or if you like that ruching and the shape of the triangles or you want to create more waist shaping then you can bring those panels to the front. You can either tie at the front or you can tie at the back. It's a really, really versatile pattern. If you make it in this velvet then actually it turns from just an everyday item to an evening outfit. Let's get stuck into the fabrics. I'm going to give you some technical information about the fabric as I run through some pattern suggestions for you. Um, I'm going to change because I'm a jeans kind of girl, so I'm going to get out of my evening jumpsuit and pop on uh, another of our velvets. This one is Floral Resort and you'll see it's got that dark background and lots of the prints that we chose to go on the velvet have that darker background. It really suits um, that tone and that shade to get those sort of lustrous highlights with the print and that darker tone in the background. This top is from actually from a 1970s vintage pattern and um, I really like it. It's elasticated, it's got a sort of raglan sleeve. But if you want something similar you could try the assembly line cuff top and um, that has a wide neckline and also a really deep cuff. Let's take a look at some other tops and I'll show you the fabrics close up. This fabric is a stretch fabric. It has 60% stretch in the width and 15% stretch in the length. So you need to make sure when you're cutting it that you're getting the stretch going across your body. It is for stretch patterns, but if you have a favorite woven top that you like, it will definitely work for that. Um, if, if you think about some of the construction techniques, it's not great at facings um, because they sort of roll a little bit um, but it's better where you've got something where it's it's properly hemmed. It is made from 92% polyester, 8% elastane, and that elastane is what gives it its stretch. So um, the first top I'd like to show you is the Kim top, and that is from Stylark. It's got that really sort of floaty hem, so then you'll really catch the light of the velvet when it hangs on that wider hem. Any kind of t-shirt pattern that you've got that you like the upper fit of um, with a sort of swing hem, they work really, really well. It also works for t-shirts with a negative ease. So if you want to make a tight fitting top, it works for that too. This one is called Peacock Nebula. And this one, I've started at the lighter end of the fabrics. This one has those sort of peacock feathers and actually feathers are a great uh, design motif for this fabric because it really does look like that sort of luster that you see on feathers, especially the peacock ones. This print is quite muted, quite small, but you get those highlights and darker tones when you move the fabric. If you like that floaty uh, feel of the fabric and hand of the fabric then this fabric works well if you want to add gathers so you could see here where I had an elasticated neckline 
it's all gathered up really nicely without that sort of pulling away from the gather it it sits really nice and flat and that's because of the viscose contents it's got a really good drape the drape of this fabric does have the same sort of hand as viscose that sort of draping hand and that makes it ideal for gathers with this in mind i've chosen the call 7809 it's got that really lovely sleeve detail which you can add if the sleeves um, don't fit your lifestyle then you can put that gathered peplum around the bottom you could lengthen this pattern um, and make it more of a tunic style so you could make that second tier the fitted top and then the gather and the second tier a little bit longer to fit your body shape or your comfort fit this print is called electric blooms it's really rich and really vibrant and actually it would make a pretty striking piece of evening wear as well the back of the fabric is white and so you really need to consider that if you're doing anything with a flounce or a frill or a gathered detail because you might see inside the, the item so um, if you're making uh, the Marlow top for example from Style Art, that's got a pretty wide bell sleeve and you can see inside in that case you might want to think about uh, how you line it or you might want to just make sure that you choose a pattern where you're really making the most of the outer right side print my third uh, top pattern that I'd like to share with you is a pattern that has negative ease so that means when your top's hanging on the hanger it will look smaller than your body and you will be stretching this uh, fabric to fit so uh, this is McCall's 8003 it's got that really nice cut out detail really modern style and I've chosen this fabric because the print is quite small so if you uh, have a, a cut line here and a cut line here then it won't matter if uh, the pattern doesn't match the pattern's really busy it's called bubble shoal it's got a black background and this really nice sort of aquamarine blue little hints of purple and pink when you stretch the fabric, so if you're wearing something with negative ease, it doesn't show that white through to the right side. So the fabric doesn't need lining, it is opaque and it's classed as a medium to heavy weight. Now that doesn't mean, um, if you think about heavy weight in terms of sort of canvas or um, any uh, boucle or any fabric that's quite firm, this is classed as a heavyweight because it's got this real luxury feel to it. It's, it's drapey, but it's heavy. And it's got a high um, uh, weight to square metre ratio. And that's what classes it as a heavyweight fabric, medium to heavy. So this one would be perfect for a long sleeve top. Great for winter, great to wear with uh, black jeans, black trousers, wearing a jacket on top. So you could wear it for work wear, everyday wear or evening wear depending on the pattern that you choose in our Minerva um, print range there are quite a few animal prints and they're a little bit um, off the wall sometimes they really have a, a little different feel to them they're not your sort of bog standard animal prints um, so this one is called animal glow and this fabric really does just pop that cerise pink color and this would be ideal for making a dress. So let's take a look at some dress patterns. I've chosen New Look 6301. It's a faux wrap dress pattern. Um, so you pull it on over your head. It's a really interesting pattern. I've made it a couple of times before in Ponte Roma and it makes the most comfortable work dress. It's uh, fitted um, you can have a full skirt or a pencil skirt on it. And with this fabric, you'd, you've got that stretch that you can have going across your hips and waist it makes it really comfortable if your job is sitting down um, I made one uh, when I was teaching adults and I used to wear it a lot I used to get a lot of compliments on it because it looks really smart but it was really comfortable to wear every day so animal glow would make an ideal wrap dress the new look pattern does come in a smaller size range um, if you're looking for larger curvier sizes then you can get uh, a wrap dress from the Appleton wrap I've made this pattern as well I've made it in a size 12 but it does have a, a larger size range it would be ideal uh, for making a wrap dress if you're not sure of the fitting so much because you can wrap and you can adjust the tightness a little bit 
it's great if your weight goes up and down and you want to have a little bit of adjustment in your clothes again this would make a fab Appleton wrap you could even mix up the banding on the wrap because the wrap dress has a neck banding and binding that goes all the way down so you could mix that up with the plain fabric if you wanted to so you could pick out the pink to make a, the, the tie pink or you could pick out the black and um, to make a really subtle wrap and neckband feature and that's the Appleton wrap dress by Cashmerette. If you like more muted tones or you wear quite a monochrome wardrobe or you're looking for something to build a wardrobe so that you've got um, pieces that work together then there are prints in this range that have less uh, colour variation in so this is Reverie Rose or Rose Reverie let me check Rose Reverie um, and that's a black background with this grey um, print on it and, it and it actually makes it so 3D it's absolutely beautiful it's quite a large rose print it's got a real spooky inky luxury feel and i think this fabric can be switched in for day wear or evening wear um so i'm going to take a look for a dress which um you could use every day a dress that's quite um adaptable and uh would fit a lot of different body shapes the dress pattern that I've chose is New Look 6298. It's um, a sweatshirt dress, easy fitting, really uh, a great winter autumn staple pattern. Any of those dresses that are like a cocoon style dress um, or a sweatshirt dress like the Billy sweatshirt dress, they will work in this stretch velvet. I like that some of the prints don't have a real multicoloured palette because then you can wear this with other um, colours, so you could make a top with this and wear black trousers. You could patch, uh, match this up with red um, and it would look really, really uh, eye-catching. This one is called Rose Reverie and I've chosen an everyday dress. Dress-wise, if you're looking at this fabric and thinking um, it really is something that you would wear for evening wear and maybe not for daytime, then um, you can choose an evening dress pattern that has stretch. So this print, and I'm going to stand up for this one, is one of our border prints. And the border print is really deep. I'll give you a reveal. It's called Botanic Bliss and all of those floral prints at the bottom uh, work so harmoniously. There's all of the colours in there. It's such a varied colour palette. With this deep print in mind, it's um, a good idea to pick something that gives uh, the full range of the print. So I've picked Butterick 6051. It's a really easy to make dress. It's got an elastic casing um, and the edges are bound around the top and you can make it short, you can make it long, you can use it as an evening dress or a holiday dress. Um, and it's it's a simple style, um, but it, it would be beautiful in this fabric because the fabric could do all of the talking. If dresses aren't your thing and you like to wear trousers, then this fabric is great because it, you're not limited by your trousers style by buying this fabric because you can make slim fitting trousers, you can make leggings with them, you can make wide leg trousers because of the drape. So the hand of the fabric um, really does open up quite a world of trouser making. The first pair of trousers that I've chosen are this Stylark Barbs. They're a slim fitting trouser around the waist and the stomach and the thighs and they're just a little straight leg at the bottom. You could easily hack that pattern and um, make them slim leg all the way to the bottom if you like a sort of skinny fit to wear with ankle boots. And this uh, print is a floral one. It's, the print is a little bit larger than um, floral resort so that's the one that I'm wearing. This one the pattern is just a little bit larger but there's lots and lots of colours to go at if you're building a wardrobe so if you want to make trousers with these and you've got lots of different options for what to wear on the top half 
If you don't like a slim fitting trouser or anything body skimming then you can make wide leg trousers with these. You could try the Stylark Como trousers. So these are an elasticated trouser with a drawstring and you can change the leg length. They've got quite a deep cuff on but that would hang really nicely in this fabric. Again because it gathers really well it takes an elastic casing beautifully. Any of those easy fitting clothes um, would work with this and that's great because if you bought a, a woven velvet they would be too stiff for that kind of thing so this uh, keeps the clothes in proportion and makes them really comfortable and the clothes you make with this don't make you look any bigger than you really are. These fabrics don't need um, pre-washing you can pre-wash them and um, there's a, a little bit of estimated shrinkage of five percent but we've washed them on 40 degrees and tumble dried them and they have been fine. When you're pressing this fabric you need to uh, do a little test piece first everybody's iron is different you need to start on a low temperature and then work your way up you can iron from the reverse if you iron from the right side you can lose some of that luster of the fabric and and change the crush of it so you can use a crush cloth or you can use a piece of velvet um, as a self crush cloth so if you have any spare fabric when you're cutting out lay that on your ironing board and then when you put your fabric crush velvet to crush velvet and press it then the fibres can sort of just um, land in between each other rather than just getting crushed flat on your ironing board. The prints are varied of course we've had animal prints we've had um, uh, border prints we've had floral prints but there are also geometric ones and I'll show you the scale of the squares and I think this would be really great if you used a favourite sweatshirt pattern. My favourite sweatshirt pattern is the Linden sweatshirt. It has a raglan sleeve. You might even with this uh, fabric switch it up a little bit. So you might use this for the front and the back and then make a plain sleeve. You can add tubular ribbing to this if you um, want to have a, a contrasting cuff. But the stretch of the fabric means that you can actually make really successful cuffs and hem bands with the self fabric. If you like a sweatshirt with a set in sleeve shape, then you could try the Billy sweatshirt, like I mentioned before. The Linden has a raglan shape. You could also use this for any sweatshirt that has a sort of roll neck because it's really comfortable to wear. So if you like to make the Jara sweatshirt with the different neckline, it would work for that too. This one is called Painter's Patchwork. If you're looking to build a wardrobe, um, so you're looking for uh, cosy layers for autumn and winter, then um, my next pattern is the Tilly and the Buttons Pearl Wrap Top. It's really useful if you want to give some longevity in terms of season to some of your dresses and uh, the one that I've kept there, I've hang, had it hanging on the wall all the way through, is called Tempting Treasures. It is the most interesting print. It has fruit and bubbles and animals, foliage. It's a real fantasy print, but it would be great for the uh, pearl cardigan because you can turn these directional prints around so that there isn't a direction to this obviously you're going to have your flamingo the right way up but if any of these other items are turned around it won't detract from the overall um, feel of your pearl cardigan so when it wraps around and the pattern sort of tilts a little bit or you've got sleeves um, it doesn't matter if you don't have the same print on either sleeve so this one is called tempting treasures I'm suggesting the pearl cardigan because all of the insides of the fabric are hidden so you won't get to see any of that white. Other cardigans that maybe swing a little bit, um, that's going to be your choice because you're going to be able to see some of that inside. It, because of the stretch you can also get a really comfortable fitting tie so where you tie that around your waist you can really um, get that tie shape but without uh, discomfort. I've saved my favourite print till last. This is Celestial Motion. I have used the Visco Chalet in this to make um, a, a ruffle blouse. It's got a beautiful inky uh, back 
background, a real indigo colour, that jadey green, cerise pink, mustard, it's all the colours that I like in my wardrobe. So if I made something with this, I know that I would definitely have something to wear with it. I haven't got a pattern for this one. Um, I haven't chosen anything because I'm thinking it's over to you. Uh, what patterns have you already got in your stash? What patterns have you seen and you think that you um, can really make a stunning stretch garment? Something, uh, an event that maybe you're going to or you've been looking for your next fabric. So I'm going to leave you with Celestial Motion and I'm going to leave it up to you what you choose to make with this one. If you're looking at any of our stretch velvets, then um, you might also want to think about popping in your basket a ballpoint needle or a stretch needle. Um, a ballpoint needle is quite good with that one, but with some sewing machines, they do prefer a stretch needle. So it's always a good idea to do a little test patch, um, some of your off cuts from when you're cutting out, just to see which one you're getting the best stitch with. You'll need a gutterman or purpose thread, that works well. Um, but if you've seen Mariflex thread, um, you might like to try that because that is a stretchy thread that you can sew on a straight stitch. So depending on what machine you have and what the capabilities are for your sewing at home, you might find that a Mariflex thread is a, a really useful thread to choose along with the correct needle for sewing our crush velvet. As ever, we would love to see anything that you've made in this fabric or anything else as well, of course. Um, but do share your makes over at Minerva. You'll need to make a free account for yourself. Uh, that means then you can follow uh, other Minerva makers, check out our products and also share the love of our sewing hobby. You can join our craft club where you will receive discounts and offers throughout the year. And we would love to see you here again to check out some more sewing inspiration. Thank you very much for watching. Do call again soon.